Okay, so my new song, I Know How This Ends, has been out just over a month, so I thought I'd do a little Q&A, just a few questions about the song and the process, so I'll give you a bit of insight and remind you to listen to it. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, first question, how to write a song. So uh, the way I wrote it was actually the, the first riff that... Um, down, 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 that thing. And then um, I had the lyric, she had something just so different about her. But I was losing my mind And every day I just wanted to tell her But it just didn't feel right And then it goes into like a pre-chorus Then a kind of a drop chorus And then a chorus Like no 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 like Into that bit So I wrote that first verse And then I wrote the rest of the song without lyrics Up to that chorus bit Which is like no 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 And for that drop I had that as just a melody And I was like trying to think of what words No 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 Works really well So I made it that word But when I wrote the rest of the song So I wrote the pre-chorus and the chorus before it, I didn't edit it, so it led into Night, so basically it's kind of just a random lyric in the chorus. Wrote it on my acoustic guitar, yeah, that was basically it, and I recorded a demo, and it was ready to go in the studio. Okay, so what's the song about? The song is about when you meet someone, and it's kind of knowing it's not going to end well. I sort of tried to call it like a pre-heartbreak anthem, so it's anticipating it's going to go bad, and having the foresight and the, I guess, courage to cut it before it can start, when you know it's going to fail anyway, if that makes sense. So realising the person isn't right for you, and choosing to accept that and move on and not kind of settle or just enter a relationship because it's easy but rather letting that go and you know how it ends and yes yeah, so it's a pre-heartbreak anthem that is what the song's about so who do I record it with? Uh, I record it with the absolute legend Josh Mobaraki also known as Trash Palace so Josh I met at a music program uh, he used to teach bass, so I never had him as a teacher because I did guitar and vocals. But I always just thought of him as like this really chill dude. And I left that Saturday thing and went on to college, and he wasn't there anymore. And I, I'd see him like occasionally, sort of out and about. And then I met him at Vent the Fringe, and he did sound for me. And it was during a set where I had just busked for the first time, and basically I kind of lost my voice. And I had like a really bad cough, and I had, it was the first time during a set I had to stop a song to cough. Like it was so bad. He was literally the nicest guy. Sort of always had him on in my mind to record with. When I got to the point where I started recording pop and like writing pop music, I was aware of him because he did kind of hip hop and like sampling and stuff. I knew he could do pop really well. Messaged him, we did Sanctuary together over a weekend and we got the sound and then basically the next weekend we did the rest of the three songs which will be on the EP coming up. But yeah, so I recorded it with him. He has like a home studio and it's just instantly feel at home. Yeah, and he's just the nicest guy. Definitely recommend him if you're aiming to record literally anything, even podcasts. So yeah, it's Josh Mabraki. I'll link him down below. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be recording with him again and I'm just gonna hype him up all the time because he's an absolute legend, so Josh Mabraki. What was your favorite part of the process? So, so it's partly when I wrote the first thing, that riff, because I always try and write those riffs where it's like two strings. Like, there's a lot of riffs written like that, so when you get a new one which you haven't heard before, it's like such a, at least I find it such a sick feeling. So when I wrote that riff for the first time, that was, felt like I was onto something. But um, probably the best part of the process is just recording it, being in the studio and starting to hear it come together and then getting like the drops in and having it suddenly become like danceable and it's this thing coming out of the speakers. That was my favourite part of the process and just working with Josh. So yeah, I would say that was favourite part of the process of that song. What is your favourite lyric from the song? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yes, I got it. It's on the bridge. It goes... Yeah, so it was um, that bridge bit. I want you to see that. I could be what you wanted. You won't see that I'm honest. C'est la vie, no more calling, because I'm never going to be yours. Then, but I wish you the best. Hope you find what's right for you next. Don't settle for no less. I really like that, because it's like, even though someone didn't exactly do you right, I'm always like in a perspective of wish anyone the best, even if they cause you like pain or whatever, because there's no point holding it in yourself. So that's probably my favorite lyric of the song. That and na 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 So yeah. I think that about wraps it up. In terms of music video, I've got a short film music video coming out which combines Sanctuary and this song, and also my next one, and that is coming out very soon. Stay tuned to my socials. I have announcements coming up in regards to potential screening and also the release of the film, which will be the music video, basically. Um, basically. So that'll be coming out soon. And also my next song is called The One, which will be coming out Again, I went out to that on my socials, so keep posted on that. It's my most honest and most raw song. It's just electric guitar and vocal, so I'm very excited to release that. Follow me on Instagram and all that stuff down below, and I'll link the song below if you haven't heard it yet. And yeah, stay tuned for everything coming next. Hope you enjoyed this song, and I'm now going to enjoy the. Na -na 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 -na